morning, the Institute for Strategic Dialogue, which tracks hate speech, said Biden's remarks singling out MAGA Republicans were interpreted as a declaration of war against all the Trump voters. This means war. We are at war with these people. These folks are evil. They have allowed evil into their house with Donald Trump. He has now dominated the party. This evil is spreading. Republicans have literally, literally ran this country into the ground. This is what this this MAGA agenda has been all about. It's been about distorting the truth. It's been about misleading people. Go to the White House website and read the speech for yourself. I've read it multiple times. I see optimism. I see a commander in chief who is calling out to all of us. All of us? He wasn't calling out to the MAGA supporters, certainly. He, he mentioned them more than a dozen times as a threat to democracy. Has the president essentially given up on those MAGA Republicans, some 70 million people? This hate-fueled agenda, this MAGA Republican agenda, has no place in a democracy. And if we are not calling it out, which is what the president did, uh, then our country is in danger. This MAGA agenda has no place in our democracy. We are a threat to the American state. So Trump supporters are already speaking the language of violence. And this is all as they defend their dear leader. President Trump is coming up. Ed and Karen, back to you guys. The 40th president is coming out. Here's Donald Trump. After 18 years of waiting and hoping, I was finally granted the privilege of becoming an American citizen. Mr. President, I am also a conservative Republican, or what you have recently labeled a MAGA Republican. Republican. You have looked into the camera and called me and millions of other people like me extremists. You have told me and my children that we don't matter to you because of our beliefs. Your spokespeople and the media have labeled us dangerous, full of hate, and a threat to democracy. I was born in a country where my rights were not always guaranteed. And to hear the President of America and the leader of the free world dismiss more than 70 million of his own countrymen as fringe and extreme, this is the reason many of us embrace the call to make America great again. We believe our great nation is under a moral, physical, and spiritual assault. We are MAGA because we want to restore the promise in the hearts of our children. We are MAGA because we believe in freedom of speech, a religion, limited government, and the rule of law. We are MAGA because we love the Constitution and believe our founders established a means for we the people to defend it from enemies both foreign and domestic. I am MAGA because I want to be able to look into the eyes of my four black children to assure them that they are not victims to achieve anything they set their hearts on. We believe our leaders should put America first 